You there! Put your weapons away! Come over here! No funny business, unless you want to get shot. What are you doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. Oh yeah? Is he expecting you? Well then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. Has a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. Believe it or not, I used to vacation there. I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn scientist. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Sure, sacrifices were required. Some people got hurt. But we were making real progress. But then those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. Figures. He's Tenpenny's adorable lapdog, isn't he? So what's your angle in all this? That's awfully decent of you, even if we already knew those bigoted bastards wanted us dead. Talk to Roy Phillips. You might be able to help us out. Live it up while it lasts. What do you want? Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. I already got a plan. They think I'm a monster? I'll show them the real monsters. We'll unleash our feral brethren on them. All those bigoted sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is getting past the damn subway access door. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. There must be some way to get that open. Those snooty bitches probably can't stand living with each other, let alone with us. But by all means, try talking to Tenpenny if you like. But it won't work. Then we'll do it my way. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on them. What about it? You think so, do you? Give it a shot, kid. But you're dreaming. I'll wait to give you a shot, but then we're doing it my way. You better choose your next words really carefully, cause you're starting to piss me off. Sure, whatever you say, you pretentious two-faced asshole. Maybe I misjudged. Pardons. So yeah, people treat us like shit, but it just makes us stronger. Otherwise, we ain't no different than anyone else that had the misfortune to live past infancy. So you killed a bunch of feral ghouls. Is that supposed to sound impressive? I got no compassion left for those mindless freaks. But they were a nice deterrent keeping out smooth-skinned bastards like yourself. Is that so? He isn't man enough to do it himself, sends a boy to do his dirty work. You think you got what it takes? I see. That's smart of you. I'd lay you flat if you tried anything stupid. So don't. 
Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes are in for a real treat soon enough. They can't keep us out of that tower forever. You... Hurry up. Those bigots got big comeuppance waiting for them. I mean to give it to them soon. Now get... Oh, hello. I'm Bessie Lynn. I... I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I, I hope you know what you're doing. You could get in a lot of trouble by coming around uninvited. I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. You must be pretty tough to get past all the ferals. They tend to leave us alone, but someone like you... Am I babbling again? Roy tells me I shouldn't do that? Be good. Will this take long? I... I have things to do. Roy is coming up with a plan to get us into that tower. Ten pennies. Says it's only a matter of time. He's strong like that. He never gives up. The kind of guy who makes things happen, Roy is. That's why the others follow him. Me? I just like the way he looks at me. Makes me feel pretty again. I'd go anywhere with him. Stay out of trouble! Will this take long? I... I have things to do. Oh, well, it's not so bad, I guess, once you get used to it. But it's not like before. I used to be pretty, you know. Everyone used to come around all the time. People stop wanting to be around you, though. When it starts to happen. When you start to change, I mean. Please don't hurt me! Oh, <laughs> sorry, I just assumed. Well, most people would prefer if we ghouls didn't exist. If you want to help us, talk to Roy Phillips. Oh, okay then, have a nice one.
Yeah? Let me take a look. Everything has its price. Take a look and make me an offer. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Bye. Hey, be more careful. Water. Help me. Please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. You mean... You don't want anything for it? I don't have any caps or anything. I can just have it. I can just have it for free? Really? Seriously? My God. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll never forget this. You've helped me so much. It seems wrong to ask, but can you spare any more water? I've been drinking whatever I can find, but I can't do it anymore. I need purified water. Please. If you find any... Give me a second. Keep your panties on. 